Hello and welcome to the Loose Butthole Reviews. I am your host Smokey and joining with me as always is my co-host Spooge. Ew. And before we get into it, we got three rules we gotta go over. First rule is a rating must be a 5 out of 5. One being we hate it, five being we love it. Number two, the rule is we can only give a Jeff Goldblum if we movie makes our make it if the movie makes us say we want our money back and rule three is we can only give a god tier if we both agree that it's a six out of five and death kappa delivered and it god is god tier god tier <laughs> oh man i was so torn during, I was like, I'm not gonna be like, I'm gonna have to give it a five. I I already know that he's gonna be like, ah, I liked it, but it was something was good. At, I I was so fearing that throughout the whole film. <laughs> <laughs> May I? I was kind of just expecting it to be kind of average at the very beginning, but as soon as the fucking uh, Men in Black showed up. <laughs> <laughs> no it wasn't who showed up first was it the men in black or was it oh fuck the, I'm, I'm not taking any points away but I, I do I do miss I do miss the, the that pointy haired like alfalfa haired guy man man child <laughs> oh yeah the, the one that you wanted to be the like, love interest <laughs> he never became like anything else. He was just kind of like just there hanging out. But uh <laughs> but um but I I knew I knew like I knew with that guy <laughs> that, <laughs> that this was going to be that this was going to be wonderful. <laughs> I mean, I was already getting I was already getting some some decent vibes too, because with like the uh, the hunchback dude and like the dude with a face on his face, <laughs> that has no that has no connection to anything whatsoever. They just like present. Yeah, <laughs> they're just there. She kind of she kind of reacts to them. <laughs> I don't uh, like. I guess they. I, I I don't know if that was just like a like them overplaying the fact that it's like some bumfuck town. <laughs> I have no clue, but oh man, this is definitely better than Young Amy. That is for damn sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was gonna be either way, but like it, like this is this this is, this uh... is another <laughs> level. Like I, I have not experienced a kaiju film like this. The only thing that I can. That, and I think this does it. This has a better quality. This has a little bit more. Um, this didn't make me as as uncomfortable as Big Man Japan did. Big Man Japan is more of kind of a mind fuck, uh, but but this one like this one's comedy has like some of the absurdest that's kind of like that. But it does it really well, and it's kind of like there's like so much like background like stuff of just like the characters, like the dude that was like pretending to be a bush. That's like some Monty Python and like Mel Brooks level like peak level shit. <laughs> you were supposed to be hiding. <laughs> That's what I said. The bush is like just him just like yeah, being a bush. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. Good. I knew oh, I knew he was hiding. I didn't I didn't just think he was a bush man. <laughs> I'm just calling him bush man because he's fucking pretending to be a bush <laughs> during a kaiju attack. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man. I just had to clarify because you, I, I, I did find it funny. You just randomly called him Bush Man. Because <laughs> I, I wanted to quickly put down a message and keep watching because I didn't want to actually like talk a lot in this one or like message a lot because it kept pulling me in. I didn't want to miss any of the uh, like background gags. But I, but, <laughs> but I had to. <laughs> they just they just kept on coming. <laughs> Oh man, this uh just the even before we get to the any of the, the kaiju part of this, like it just blew <laughs> blew my mind in the laboratory with the fucking the I fucking evil answer. scientist shit. Like that just That is when I was like, Okay, yeah, no, this this is a completely different kaiju film than than what I'm used to. Yeah. 
this is after Big Man Japan. Big Man Japan was a little was a little before, but it's definitely I would put it in that genre. <laughs> like I said, that this definitely has a Super Sentai vibe. This is definitely their like level of comedy and and editing for okay. sure. Yeah. <laughs> It, it can get that comical sometimes. It it, mm -hmm. it it's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. But um, it's... and of course the monster designs are great. Oh yeah, the fucking Kappa is on point. They, mm -hmm. uh, and to be honest, they they explain it kind of well of what's going on and why the Kappa is the Kappa and everything. They they do very well for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no over-explaining in this. No, they tell you the information you need to know. <laughs> and they use that as a gag as well. Yeah, yeah, this, that, that dude. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that it it kind of had Ron Runny Run level of comedy. Because Ron Runny Run would cut to that one dude narrator every so often. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It had a mix of a lot of things like that, like it, just of like the way it did. It was very. This had, a, but it, like in its own flavor too, because this definitely has its own flavor of comedy. Oh yeah, like for I sure. I wonder what this. Who's the director of this? <laughs> I, I have no this clue. Person has done. Let's see. I'm gonna look this up. This, this it it they did a phenomenal job. The the fighting. They actually the whoever. Ooh, fucking, yeah. IMDB gave this a 4.6 out of 10. Fuck IMDB. They they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They don't know what the fuck they're fucking the talking about. The kaiju film, they, they actually fucking toss each other around and shit. <laughs> like, there's very... Like, there's very... Well, it turns into a fucking wrestling, like WWE. Yes, it turns, <laughs> it turns into a wrestling match. Like, they're, they're fucking suplexing each other, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's why that's that was what really cemented it too because like we got a really good fucking kaiju fight like and that's just like even even comedy aside that was a really good kaiju fight oh that that is like one of the best kaiju fights i have ever watched mm -hmm. to be honest and it's all almost everything is all practical it's like they went out of their way to do practical effect like and then when they're... they did, and then when they did like a cheap effect, they do it comedically and like a like it. It was always thought out, you know. Like you know, how do yeah, we make they, this work? They definitely didn't just try to make <laughs> it look, you know, like the report, they... like the reporter, like it cutting to the reporter, then cutting to the little doll on fire. <laughs> yes. it's fucking brilliant man I, <laughs> like even if all this was just like happy little accidents of just like being having a low budget they mm -hmm. fucking nailed it man they they took what they had and they used all their creative talent to fucking crank this out man all right imdb what what have this person fucking done what are they? You didn't need. Who are they? By the way. Oh, it's uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the this. It's uh, Tomu uh, Haraguchi. All right. Can you give me a list here? Uh, film. Oh, here we go. All filmography. This I I ain't, and even the the monster that's not the Kappa. It's fucking. I love that design, man. It it's kind of copying Godzilla. Ooh. But they mm -hmm. added so much flair to it that they made it their own, you know? It's still unique enough to where when I see this monster, I'm going to be able to point it out. I'm not going to be able to, like, ooh, is that from Ultraman? Or is that one of the offshoot mm -hmm. Godzillas, you know? it It's definitely yeah. like, oh, snap, that's from, that's fucking from Death Kappa. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, what he's done is, uh, ooh, that really looks interesting, uh, I might have to put that, he, he only got eight movies, I'm gonna put them all on the list. <laughs> yeah, uh, alright, that's fine, well, it'll be uh, Mikador, seven. Mikadoro, 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 uh, fuck, Mikado, Mikadoroido, Mikadoroido, fuck, 
Mika Del Roido. That's a, there we go. <laughs> um, then we have that's that's from 1991. Okay, looks, I like that. I like the cover of that. It looks pretty legit. I'll have to send a pick in a sec. But then we got Sequoia, uh, Slayer of Demons. That actually uh, sounds familiar. Then we have uh, Werewolf Warrior and Werewolf Warrior Two, or alternate title uh, Kiba Kichi. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got uh, y- uh, Yuko Riri Paititi the movie. Uh, that doesn't even have like a picture to go with it. <laughs> 2009. And that was the, that's the movie he did. And then we have Death Kappa. That was at 2010. Then, oh, then he uh, will go on 2013 and 14 to do Ultraman uh, uh, Jenga. And Ultraman Jenga, uh, the- theater spectral uh, ultra monster hero battle royale. Oh, well, he fucking deserved it. To be honest, he deserves to do a Super Sentai series, to be honest. This mm-hmm. was... I, I I think that's what he was doing. He was trying to pay homage to both Ultraman and the Super Sentai series at the same time. Because mm-hmm. it, it gave me so much Super Sentai vibes. Especially with the, like, just how suddenly the monster... Like, that... That's usually how the main villain is created in suit. Like, it's just some mm-hmm. fucking kids fucking with some ancient bullshit that they shouldn't, and they accidentally free a witch or something that they mm-hmm. fucking shouldn't have been fucking with, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this just went this just went beyond what it even needed to be. <laughs> oh man. I the the opening kinda made me question it with how the the driving sequence and everything Mm -hmm. i was like ah if it's gonna be like this the whole time but i think they did that on purpose (laughs) yeah i i think this i i hate i don't know i want to know how much of this film was actually on purpose and how much was of it just a happy accident that just worked with the film I just didn't yeah, like how much trolling was going on here. Because <laughs> it's... Uh, it's hard to explain. You just need to go watch it. <laughs> this is like one of the best kaiju films. Yeah, it, it's... I, I kind of feel... I'm both... I'm both... I think it's good that we have a good comparison. A good, like, fucking... A great, like... A great, like, place to rank start ranking and comparing but also i'm kind of disappointed that we watched this one already because i feel like a lot of a lot of them aren't gonna aren't gonna compete with this one. <laughs> oh yeah this i'm though it makes me really glad that i picked the movie that i picked for our next week's one which will be at least unconventional and won't be about monster fights because definitely we're not going to be topped in a monster fight <laughs> yeah no i i don't i cannot remember a single monster fight that that I've already seen that tops this. This is definitely the best kaiju fight so far that I can remember. Mm-hmm. And uh, and this is the only fucking movie we get. There is no other Death Kappa, and there's no, mm-hmm. and I hate how they do the question mark at the end. But I don't think we're gonna get another Death Kappa. <laughs> no, I mean, well, he's not doing Ultraman anymore because I'm pretty sure they're on Shin Ultraman now. Which is like done, it's done with like, it's kind of semi connected with the Shin Godzilla thing. No, I, I, I will, I, I'm gonna actually have to look into that. Like semi, but not, but not really also because there's a lot of the same actors from uh, Shin Godzilla. That is, that is a movie that I've been dying to watch again is Shin Godzilla. Oh, yeah. That'll be, that'll be some, that'll be next, uh, next guy. That'll be month. next next candy month for sure oh man i want to keep on i want to keep on talking about this but oh the soundtrack banging soundtrack oh yeah (laughs) i fucking loved every song every song fit every comedic song and Mm -hmm. i'm gonna have to go back but that one song had a had a line (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> there's a couple really odd lines too because that's why i believed you after i saw their last one when it was like i forgot what it what it said 
because it was like it was like really like out of like left field line about like I will bleed, like while I bleed I will like smile. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was it, like, wait, what? <laughs> the, I'm gonna have to watch this film again pretty soon, actually. To be honest, mm -hmm. I mean, we got it. We got we got like what seven days? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna rewatch it again. Uh, this it's fucking amazing, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is this is this is a hidden gem. If there's, I mean, this is like the exact definition of a hidden gem. Oh yeah, like this. I have never seen a bigger diamond in the rough. If you if you have Amazon already, definitely get the con or con TV or the. Uh, you could also get the uh, Fandor uh, free trial, and you know, just do the free trial and like. Uh, watch this movie seven to, times. To be <laughs> honest, man, this movie deserves to be rented. True. I mean, but it, I, I would say that if it wasn't on Amazon and Amazon wasn't getting into like a big old chunk of that. <laughs> uh, well, they 30% most likely. Yeah, still. I, You know what? I'd say go and fucking do the free trial and then fucking go and buy it. Oh, buy yeah. Buy it from the source. <laughs> that would be great. That would be yeah, the best. Make sure they get all that. Money. This, this definitely needs to be supported as much as possible. We need needs more support so we can get a death cap too. Damn it! Yeah, this is this is definitely this would definitely go on my like my dream collection that it's, I would have in the back behind me. It's definitely going up there on my top kaiju list. Uh, mm -hmm. I I have to answer last week's question. Death Kappa, if it was a franchise, probably would be my favorite kaiju, but Mothra still. Mm. This one's number two, though. Death Death Kappa is definitely number two. <laughs> yeah. In, in terms of, like, the actual just monster design, too. Was... Yeah. Yeah, just mm. just monster design and just, just how the monster's treated and everything as well. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I am kind of disappointed with how they treated the bowl on the, the head, but that that is semantics. Uh, they kind of do explain that this isn't an actual yokai. This is more of a monster film, so. Yeah. You could always subvert those, uh, you know. Yeah. Because he still it reacts to it, and he, it's still like, you know, it still brought him out of his rage. Like yeah, the definitely. song and then getting the, you know, water. Getting the water so they're, on they're his still, plate. There's yeah. still an effect with that. It was still acknowledged. It's still, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it took away, and nothing mm. could take. Nothing this film does could take away from it. It just adds to it. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I didn't think you were. I was just <laughs> defending. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you've been listening this long, you really should go watch this. Uh, but please like, comment and share the video subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications do you have a sign off spooge uh shit <laughs> um uh, uh, do, do you what do you think of death kappa put it in the comment section below oh yeah yeah that what go watch it and tell us what you think that's homework yeah Get homework now. Yeah, you get fucking homework now. Hey, right, and uh, next week will be the last week of Kaiju Month. This will be a bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.